First vinyl, uh, Church of the Good Thief by Right Away Great Captain. Nobody knows what that is. Uh, social media influencers. Uh, I learned how powerful music can be. Uh, going into a place like that, it's like a really, really dark place and bringing some light to it. You can see the effect that it has on people and that's something that really inspired me to do what I'm doing now. Cocaine blues. Uh, just a fucking bathroom, dude. I always had to like be quiet in whatever house I was in, so I'd find the most secluded bathroom or closet, and that's where I would write. Ah, uh, shiny boots. Shiny boots. I did. Oh, I did spice one time. And that shit is gnarly, and I uh, I was like tripping out, man. And I I was listening to this M83 song. It's like this epic song, and I like was looking at my wall, and the wall started to like shift into like a dragon that was like going across the thing, and I started crying. Favorite Minnesota memory? Freaking Stout Burger. I have one waiting for me right there. Have you been there? Oh my god, Stout, so good. Uh, you know, it just it just refuels my white trash blood. Just gives it another kick. I got news that that went number one as I was descending on a plane in between two like massive dudes. So I was like scrunched in the middle and I like turned my airplane mode off and I saw it and I like kind of started to tear up and I just thought it was like the funniest view of like me in between these two dudes like, oh my God. Uh, but I didn't, I, don't, I, I didn't even have time to like really celebrate it. Uh, I really like this whiskey called Dimple Pinch and I found out about it because it's the last drink that Walter White orders in Breaking Bad. And me and my buddy Mike were like, what? We wondered if it was real and it is and it's fire. Probably there will be blood. Tech decks. Oh, dude, no. What the fuck are you doing, dude? That's disgusting. That's so gross. I saw someone put ketchup on their mac and cheese once, too. That's so fucking gross, dude. Yeah, that's fine, because that's normal. Uh, I don't prefer one over the other, because they're just for different things, but I like playing, um, like, shows if I'm playing it solo. Obviously, I like an acoustic guitar a lot better. Uh, my dad has one that I would play around with a little bit, but those are a lot more for like slide guitar and I suck at slide guitar. Languages for sure. Yeah. Um, well, they played in Christian metal bands that were named Never Thirst and uh, Holy Warfare fire names and uh they wouldn't let me listen to unchristian music till i was like 14 which was like old enough to kind of like rebel and be like i'm listening anyway um but they to their to their piece uh i was picking the worst like music that i wanted to get uh and they were like no you can't have that and then they kind of just cut it off completely like I was, I was trying to listen to like, I mean, I was like 13 trying to listen to like Lil Wayne and stuff like that. And my dad's just like, no, dude. I think just honest songwriting, I think is a big thing. I think that's why my music is going because they are songs that I just wrote about my life in a bathroom and then went on to do the production stuff. But a lot of the alternative rock I hear today sounds like they went into a studio and they were like, we're going to make an alt rock song rather than actually trying to put some depth and honesty into it. Mmm, frickin' cigarettes and Jameson, dude.